How to survive a quarter-life crisis and find your purpose. If you are 25 years old, you may be going through one of the most challenging periods of your life. You're facing a reality that doesn't always match your dreams and expectations. You feel confused, frustrated, indecisive. You ask yourself questions. Who am I? What do I want? Where am I going? This is normal. It means you are growing and evolving. It means you are searching for your purpose. Purpose is not something you are given from birth. It is something you create yourself by choosing your path, your goals, your values. Destination is what gives your life meaning, fulfillment, satisfaction. Destination is what makes you happy. But how do you find your purpose? How do you determine what is really important and interesting to you? How do you overcome the fears and doubts that keep you from going after your dreams? Here are some tips that can help you. Know yourself. Take time for self-analysis, self-observation, self-reflection. Try to understand what inspires you, what makes you happy, what bothers you, what annoys you. Identify your strengths and weaknesses, your talents and weaknesses, your interests and aptitudes. Write a list of your values, beliefs, principles. Write a list of your goals, desires, dreams. Write a list of your accomplishments, failures, lessons learned. Don't judge yourself, don't criticize yourself, don't compare yourself to others. Just observe yourself as another person and try to figure out who you really are. Explore the world. Don't close yourself off in your comfortable space. Don't limit yourself to your habits. Don't be afraid of change. Open yourself to new possibilities, new knowledge, new experiences. Read books, watch movies, listen to music, visit exhibitions, travel, meet different people, participate in different projects, try different activities. Be curious, receptive, flexible. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, experiment, take risks. When you explore the world, you explore yourself. You find things you like and dislike, things that fit and don't fit, things you need and don't need. Follow your heart. Don't give in to pressure from society, family, friends who want you to live by their script, their rules, their standards. Don't pursue someone else's goals. Don't copy someone else's successes. Don't live someone else's life. Listen to your inner voice, your intuition, your feelings. They will tell you what you really care about, what you are really interested in, what you really want. They will tell you what your purpose is. Trust your heart. It will not deceive you. Act boldly. Don't put your plans on hold. Don't wait for perfect conditions. Don't look for excuses. Start taking action now with what you have, with what you know, with what you can do, with what you know. Take small steps, but take them regularly, consistently with direction. Don't be afraid of difficulties, obstacles, failures. They are not a reason to give up, but a reason to grow. They are not the end of the journey, but part of the journey. They are not problems, but challenges. Embrace them as opportunities to learn, to improve, to overcome. Act boldly and you will achieve your goals. Lastly, I want to share with you a few quotes from great people that can help you in finding your purpose. Your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't fall into the trap of dogma that implies living by the results of someone else's thinking. Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your inner voice. Most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know who you want to be. Everything else is secondary. Steve Jobs. The only way to do something great in this world is to love what you do. If you haven't found that yet, keep looking. Don't stop. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you found it. Steve Jobs. Don't be afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your faith will help create that fact. William James. The only way to live well is to find something worth dying for. Paul Coelho. In this article, we have looked at how to survive a quarter-life crisis and find your purpose. We have highlighted four key tips that can help in this process. Know yourself, explore the world, follow your heart, and act boldly. We've also included a few quotes from great people that can inspire and motivate on the path to self-actualization. We came to the conclusion that purpose is not something given, but something created. 
every person has the right and opportunity to choose his or her path, his or her goals, his or her values. Every person has potential and talent that needs to be discovered and developed. Every person has meaning and content that needs to be found and felt. We also emphasize that the quarter life crisis is not an end, but a beginning. It is not a problem, but a challenge. It is not stagnation, but growth. It is not a disaster, but an opportunity. It is a chance to rethink your life, your priorities, your desires. It's a chance to change your life for the better, to make it more interesting, more satisfying, happier. We hope that our article was useful and positive for you. We wish you success in finding your purpose and in overcoming the quarter life crisis. Remember that you are not alone, that you are not hopeless, that you are not helpless. You are a unique and valuable person who can achieve anything you set your mind to. You are the creator of your life, and it is up to you what it will be. Be yourself, believe in yourself, follow your dreams.